seats here in Cincinnati, Ohio, and many of you look like familiar faces. So thank you for coming out to support storytelling again. Um, we'd really like to thank our friends here at the 20th Century Theater. Um, this is an incredible venue for local music and arts. Please continue to support your local arts scene. And um, we'd also like to thank our colleagues at Cincinnati.com um, who have made this evening um, and for the support of our leadership team, including our executive editor, Peter Batia. Um, we are really, really lucky to have such an incredible team of journalists who are dedicated to telling your stories. Um, so thank you, team. Um, we'd also like to thank our friends at USA Today for taking a chance on Cincinnati and bringing this beautiful evening of storytelling right here to the Madison Theater. Thank, of course, our amazing storytellers that you're going to hear from this evening and their vulnerability and crafting their stories and working with our coaches this evening would not be possible. So we They're so beautiful. So tonight, we this is not an inspirational speech. This is not an educational too, and we are not anything. I realize you find that hard to believe. Um, we're not even going to be about the people who are about to and tell exactly what we are. Have a to open your mind. Somebody who's going to share do this evening. So this is part of the states and the USA Today in the power of stories. Deeply diverse American experiences our vulnerability, tenacity, and our persevering spirit are what a sometime dysfunctional as an incredible nation. This evening, and those of you, um, why is this happening? We are at the crossroads of rural and urban and suburban. Thank you to those of you who slept down from the suburbs. Um, I know, good job. Um, we are also at the crossroads of the north and the south. Um, we are at the crossroads of industry and farmland. Indiana is tough. We'll let them have that. Um, very specific place in the American psyche. This evening of I am an American is so deeply important and the values that we hold. For sure. And, and tonight you're going to hear stories from your parent. Each one of the stories you're going to hear tonight. But when you weave them all together, that really is this a remarkable country and that's obviously why we're all here this you find yourself in some of the stories you may find yourself in one of the stories or in all of the stories common theme and that is all of our storytellers are so proud to be an American so we definitely ask that you open yourself to receiving the stories being told tonight in the spirit they were intended well that being said we have been doing as Katie said uh, this series around the country. It is part of a year-long effort to tell the stories of exceptional Americans. Facebook, as many of you are. Facebook and our Instagram. Nominate someone to an exceptional American. You can visit daytoday.com to do Social media, and you can you can check out as well as the stuff the tellers here this evening. And while Michael 
here this evening to stare at us or listen to us, although we appreciate it. So we'd love to kick it off this evening with our first storyteller who's been to us from an Appalachian corner in Ohio. And has been a place where rooted in and out to tell stories of poverty and environmental degradation. Um, we're really excited this evening to bring you Ben's story, which is one that is about loving where you're from and being proud of it. So team, please join me in welcoming Ben Klein to the stage. My story starts in it was a rain minute for some and that meant we were hanging and announced oh we're having a contest to win the new B fifty two C D good stuff. Tenth caller. So I called in, I was the tenth caller question was to between boys to men and join and DJ said on fire and he was like arms on fire after you know they started laughing it's all and they were like yes that's the correct answer please hold someone will be on to take your information shortly and the little assistant comes on the line and you know, she's taking my information. And while that's happening, at the next commercial break, my siblings are in the living room listening to this whole thing on the next WK is on fire. <laughs> I became the between every as the barn's on fire. Later, mistake. Like a like a yeah, whatever. I shouldn't do that. that. Was far, 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 far. So I fit nineteen. That was. Musical realize I you know everybody had a good laugh. My mom, I got the CD. It's later, Marshall University in Huntington, West Virginia, where everybody sounded like me. So the cognizance of sounding different and having a twang and that that fat heavy A college uh, college for a little while where it was the RTP and all over the world I, again they just thought I was from East like Asheville or someplace like that while back to where everybody sounded like I do uh, got a grave, so that went on, and then nine, eighteen years in Cincinnati. I got my first job for the library there in the main library on campus, and 
experience because I was my first time living in a